UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has reiterated his call for a ceasefire during a meeting with the Egyptian foreign minister. He said Palestinians need a flood of aid. Looking at Gaza, it almost appears that the four horsemen of war, famine, conquest and deaths are galloping across it. That is why the time for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire is now. And in the Ramadan spirit of compassion, I also urge the immediate and unconditional release of hostages. The suffering must end. Palestinians in Gaza desperately need what has been promised, a flood of aid. Tanak al and Rafa in southern Gaza, Antonio Guterres, they're using some very dramatic language to explain as he sees of what's happening in Gaza. He's calling for a flood of aid. What is the situation at the moment? Uh, well, in fact, Nick, the situation on the ground here, sat the Gaza's threat in both north and this other part of the territory is still uh, extremely dire as uh, the amount of aids that are allowed to get into the territory is still the same without plea increase and in the capacity of the humanitarian convoys as Israel till now is uh, still uh, following the same uh, approach represented and uh, restricting the humanitarian supplies deliveries uh, specifically to the most vulnerable part of the conflict uh, there in the north where uh, there are still hundreds of thousands of thousands of people are waiting for further flow of humanitarian assistance just to help them to recover uh, with the uh, ongoing aftermath of the Israeli offensive, but yet we do not see any uh, any uh, enforcement of laws in terms of Israel in order to help to uh, uh, to remove all the restrictions being imposed. And uh, in light of the very severe shortage of all food items and the skyrocketing prices uh, of the Palestinian, the Palestinian market, and uh, absolutely neck, Palestinians are calling for an increase uh, capacity of aid supplies. But uh, we have been seeing dozens of humanitarian trucks are stationed on the Egyptian side, which can help to relatively mitigate the aggravating humanitarian crisis. Mm. Tag, we were mentioning before that Israeli forces have been bombing homes in Rafa. We also talked about them carrying out strikes on homes in Deir Arbala. Just bring us up to date over the last several hours or so. What's been happening? What? Yes, in fact, the latest round of Israeli bombardment and attacks in Rafa had risen uh, the death toll to more than uh, 15 Palestinians had been reached to 16 after the uh, civil defense teams managed to recover uh, a baby being killed uh, by the Israeli attack uh, or from one of the residential houses that had been targeted and then it since uh, down today. But yet, the situation sounds really critical in other parts of the territory. Well, the bombardment and uh, airstrikes continue to go on in the Shifa, uh, on the, uh, the vicinity of the Shifa hospital, where a number of Palestinians have been reported killed and injured in a Shati refugee camp. While the Gaza's government media office has been stating uh, that uh, the Israeli military troops amid its ongoing operations in the Shifa hospital had killed five medical uh, teams uh, inside, uh, five, five medical doctors uh, uh, and teams inside their Shifa hospital as they are still trapping hundreds of patients and ev evacuees inside this uh, medical facility but yet we have been seeing more attacks on the middle areas where the artillery bombardment continues on Dara Bella hand on the Sarait refugee camp still now. Tarek thank you very much indeed Tarek Abolzum talking to us from Rafa in southern Gaza.